Well, hello, YouTube. It's been a long time since we've spoke. How are you guys? A whole lot has changed in my life. For one thing, I pretty much took the whole month of December off from the gym, which was nice. Went to New Mexico with my girlfriend. You guys may or may not have met her. You haven't met her on YouTube, I know that. And I also, I got a dog. This is, this is Hop's cook. Hop, say hi to the camera. He is such a good little boy. He's a French Bulldog, got him from the same breeder where I got Poppy. He's a little nugget, he's only had three accidents inside. Please do not have an accident on my bed. What else did we do? I planned a fitness retreat, I leave for Australia tomorrow, and my truck got upgraded. So I'm out here, we're at Sand Hollow Resort, checking out the location for the 2019 Fitness Culture Retreat. I told you guys that was one of the things I was working on, um, one of the new things that I wanna do for 2019. Um, we started the gym last year and kind of just got so caught up in being a gym owner and traveling the world, did programs and everything that we didn't ever run a seminar retreat thing. So that's what we're doing. You guys can click the link in the bio. We're running our eight week transformation challenge right now. New year, people will have lofty goals with everything we're doing. We're giving you guys a chance to win a trip out here. So we're gonna take the top five transformation transformations and it doesn't just necessarily mean losing weight or reducing body fat. It could be adding muscle. It could be your numbers go up like crazy. Click the link and you can follow the instructions. But basically, you get your training, you get mobility, you get your nutrition, you get the Facebook group. It's an eight week transformation challenge. Winner is gonna come out here. We're gonna be hiking, we're gonna be boating. There's a lake over there. We're gonna be hiking way off there in the distance probably can't see it but they're snow covered mountains and right now what I'm doing is just like I said making sure they can cook enough healthy food for the people because all of the meals are gonna be taken care of and then also that the lodging is good we're now gonna check out one of these rooms just to make sure they're legit we don't want you guys staying any four-star rooms they got to be five-star rooms Ooh, it has a kitchen in it that legit looks like a painting as you get closer to that wall this is a cool option to have Got the wainscoting on the door, that's a big plus. Oh, it's got a blow dryer, so if some of you guys are like Jake and super high maintenance, you can blow, oh, yeah. blow dryer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, heading to the penthouse right now. I'm pretty excited to see it. I might just move in here long term. It'd be good for you, man. Poppy will love it. Oh. 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 That was Pops. a slip, wasn't it? That was a slip. <laughs> Whoa. How many bedrooms is this? Three. This is great. Look at that view. And how much is this if I just want to live here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like I said, there's that lake right over there, guys. And we just might have to take the Malibu out, take the stand-up paddle boards. Hopefully by then, Hobbs, not Poppy, can surf on the board with me. How cool would that be? Like it's a pretty small dog for a board surf. He's gonna get big, he's gonna be a beast, bro. I'm putting him on the swole program. Oh, it is that time again. I'm just showing up to my gym. Camera in my hand. We got Mr. IFBB hey. Pro Aaron Jeffries in the house. Best set of shoulders I know. Oh, what up, brother? Hey, I'm liking the gym shark top. I got a back day. It's my second day training of 20,000, 20,000, 2019, and it's a back day. We're gonna warm up, back and biceps, jump into it because we leave tomorrow for Australia. But here's what we're gonna be doing tonight. I don't write things down, I just don't remember them. So, back workout. Yes, I have an app, but one of my New Year's resolutions is to be on my phone less, which means I write whatever I'm doing that day in my notebook, and then I just make notes as I'm going, how I'm feeling, if it was light, if it was heavy. Um, I did this back in the day, and it honestly just gets me mentally prepared. The time I spend writing down what I'm doing that day, visualizing those things, it gets me back on it. Next hold nation, let's go. All right, starting off with a wide grip pull down. It's a warm up, four sets, just nice and slow the entire way, just squeezing real light, real light. All right, I'm over here in the CrossFit station. Yeah, I call them the CrossFit station. There's no one ever over here. Got pull ups, gonna do them weighted. Gonna fail in that eight to 12 range. Three seconds on the way down, keeping my elbows as back as possible. When we start doing this, I'm gonna be using a lot more biceps. So elbows as far back as possible. Squeezing at the top, half second contraction, and then lower. That, that's the goal. When you start adding weight, things get a little bit sloppier. So make sure as you do add weight, Stay in that eight to 12 with great form. I'm not gonna say perfect, but great, okay? All right, we did three sets on the pull-ups. Chuck over my hand. Next up, we're on the seated hammer strength row. Let me go on. Close grip on this one. 
I'm gonna do it single arm. So as I row, my off hand is gonna be right here. I'm gonna be rowing the weight. The reason I do it single hand is because it allows for better range of motion. As I pull back, I actually kind of twist. My chest is gonna come off the pad on that side. I'm gonna squeeze, pulling as close to the side as I can. This is a good one. It's similar to a single arm dumbbell row, but I like it that I'm not bent over. I like being chest high and just squeezing. A different feel. Some people like this better. I do both of them. Tonight though, we're doing this one. All right, next up, we had hammer strength, isolateral again. So one side, we're gonna be squeezing while I'm holding this right here. I love, love training back, especially one side at a time. Um, we rarely do that enough because one side's usually stronger. It's just, it happens, your dominant hand. So definitely with back, just feeling that mind muscle connection, that isolateral training is one of the mind muscle connections is a great way to do that. So we got a bent over Smith machine row. Anything you want to do, want to make sure if you have a Smith machine that angles one way or the other, make sure it's angling towards you. So as we pull up, we're going to be pulling closer to our body and then back down, it's going to come away from our body. But we're going to try to squeeze just about bent over at 90 degrees, not quite keeping our abs at our core tight. Make sure we have good, those good stabilizing muscles holding us there. And then we're just squeezing, retracting those shoulder blades, squeezing three seconds on the way down. I like doing these every now and then on a Smith machine because it keeps me right in that trajectory. That's that line going straight up, straight down, pulling into our sternum and then back down and get, get, get a really good squeeze on the Smith machine. That one is a killer. Killer if you go slow on that, just squeezing the hell out of it. This Smith machine in particular, it's damn heavy. Just wrapped up at the gym as you can see. Not a lot of people here. It's a good workout. Something, you can just feel something. I think maybe it was that break in December. I think it was maybe just getting over the last part of 2018, the last four months. Um, but feeling like change is in the air, feeling like there's some good things that are just, you get know, that feeling that like, you know, you're kind of coming out of this funk, kind of coming out of this cloud. And sometimes um, pushing through it's the right answer. Sometimes changing your trajectory is the right answer. Um, but whatever it is, trying to stay positive throughout it is, is the main thing. So I'm so excited, new pup, new opportunities got an awesome thing going here with fitness culture jake and the team thinking about competing this year not really on the top of my list but as i have good workouts start peeking in the mirror start looking at things um and i think that that's a good thing to have that that natural excitement for the gym coming back i've been doing this for seven eight years on youtube traveling the world and with a lot of different things in life i can just say i was just burnt out just with everything else um, so it was kind of nice to have a rest and recharge and feeling just super optimistic as we head to Australia tomorrow. So I won't be needing this jacket down under. I'm gonna be there with the Gymshark team in Sydney on the 19th and 20th. Oh, I still didn't show you guys the truck. We might have to show you guys this beast. And I left my vlogging camera inside. Damn it, I'm still forgetful.